morning, my friends. How are y'all doing? It is bright and early on a Tuesday morning, and it is cold. I'm so cold. Oh, I'm ready for it to be a little bit warmer around here. Huh. But how are y'all doing? I was finalizing my final lineup for tonight's sale, Tuesday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Easter. Eastern. I have a live sale on my channel where I sell vintage and antique treasures. But I was finalizing my final lineup and I realized I needed a couple different things. I wanted to spice it up a bit. So we're going to head to um, this little, little antique store that I go to. It's about 40 minutes away. Um, I, I do pretty good there. Their turnaround rate isn't the best, but I still managed to find some things. Um, I am going to try to look more specifically for glass and pottery because that's not really my wheelhouse and I want to I wanna broaden my horizon. So that's what we're going to be looking for today, but let's go treasure hunting. Another treasures in Villarica, Georgia. So let's go see if we can find anything to buy and resell. I thought it was really pretty and I was really hoping that it was cranberry glass, but from the bottom I can tell that it's flashed, but it is such a beautiful paint job. It's only $12.50, which is a really good price, but I'm really looking for more saturated glass, but this is not a bad start, but I think I'm going to put this it back. little cutie. She's chalkware with her puppy dog, and she is da, 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 $3, so I am going to grab her. What do you think about this piece? Um, I'm pretty sure it's Viking. It's $15, but it has its lid. It's dusty, but it's in good condition, um, I think, but I think I might grab this. They really remind me of, I'm, tr I'm trying to think, it's a California pottery maker, Shoop, I think, Betty Shoop, but her hand is broken, but that's a shame because I think that they're quite cute, but no, not with the broken hand, but we're going to go in here, see if there's anything, I haven't found much so far, just those two things are in my little cart, but hopefully we can still find some treasures. So we're going to look together to see if there's anything. It says repaired right there. Probably won't look at that. Let's look over here. Now there's kind of, it's kind of tight quarters in here. So we do need to be careful. Hmm. I don't know. The colors aren't doing much for me on that one. Do, do, do. No music in here. That's nice. Tanala bird. These are cool. Look at this face. It looks like a birch tree. Oh, all new. Womp womp. Wompity womp womp. And then we have the table over here. I like this giraffe planter. Let's see. Hole 19. Not sure, not sure. All right, I'll get back with you guys if I find anything. Okay, so this is neither pottery nor um, glass, but I am in love with it. This super tone vintage toy piano so I am definitely gonna get this I love it I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or sell it but I love it you're going in the buggy I also just came across this flamingo bud vase it is $12 but I'm gonna look it up and see who makes it it's in good condition but I think I'm gonna get this too it says, if I had a million hearts, I would send them all to you. And I love that old glittering. And this one has the same old glittering, but this would be great for St. Patrick's Day. And then look at this one, to the one I love, 1907, with that glitter. I just love that glitter. And then this one is for me. I just love those seashells and how they like are three-dimensional. And it's Atlanta, Georgia, which is very close to where I live. And it's from 1907. 
So I'm grabbing that one. This one I thought was so sweet for Easter. All filled out, 1908. I love that one. And then I think I'm, I don't know, I can't decide about this one for um, the 4th of July. I don't know. I might put this one back. I'm not really feeling the writing on the front as much. Um, and I don't like the map of it. Uh, like the, I don't know. It's just, I probably will put this one back. But then look at this postcard. It's like three dimensional. And this one is from 1974. But look at that. I think that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get it to show up a little better. I like it. And then this little Easter one with the sweet little angel on it. But this one has a pretty significant crease, so I'll probably put this one back too. So I'm gonna put these two back. And I'm thinking about this one, but I'm definitely getting those. For further thought, I do really like this postcard. I think it's really cool, but it's pretty bent up and it's pretty large. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna put it back, but it's still really cool. I think I'm gonna put him back too, cause I just realized he has a chip right here, so. He's gonna stay. Bye, Mr. Flamingo Man. I'm headed down to the basement. I usually don't find much down here and it doesn't change too terribly much, but we're gonna try anyways. These are kind of cute. Owl salt and pepper shakers. They're $6.50, that's not bad. They're not marked. But let's see what else there is. This is really pretty. $30, I like that. Oh, and look at this little tidbit tray. It's not old, but I like the little gold bird on top. This whole piece is interesting. It's $12. Some bright colors. I don't know. And look at this, this um, bowl, center bowl. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. La, la, la. La, la, la. <laughs> it's too quiet in here. I don't know what to do. I'm usually competing against the music, but with it being so quiet, I just don't know what to do with myself. That's a pretty bowl. Six dollars? There must be something wrong. Yep, as is. I knew it. <laughs> this basement's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. But maybe we'll find the best treasure ever and it will make it worth the creepiness of it all mm -hmm. nothing's popping out at me as of yet come on creepy basement give me something good give me something mm -hmm. there's not too much down here This is really the only shelf that even comes close to having s some things on there I like. This is cute. This little pink clover candy dish. I haven't seen one of those for St. Patrick's Day. It's $8. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Look at this candle. <coughs> Scaredy cat. Hmm. Well, I'm not finding much down here, but it's definitely always worth checking out. All right, let's head back upstairs. I actually really like this. It's got the dolphins on it. And I don't know if that's supposed to be a cherub or a mermaid and then here's the plate and i love that it's been broken and glued back together like that's what i like about it i know that's probably odd but i like it and it's got this little compartment here so i think i'm gonna get this for myself it's only a dollar and i really like it so this is gonna go into the cart i don't know a darn thing about this um it is a little older i can't quite read who makes it i see crystal but I love this. I think it's simple, but elegant, but like, I don't know, kind of gives me feels, so I like it. So I'm gonna get it. It's um, 350, but I really like it. So we're gonna grab that. And I usually do pretty good in this booth. I like her stuff. There's some Fenton right there, some more right there. 
the exact same dish right there. This is really pretty. Is it India? Made in India? China. China. There's some keys in there. Um, let's see, look at that vase. That's beautiful. I don't, I think I've seen this here before and I think I've tested it to see if it glows and it didn't glow, but that's really pretty. I like that. It really looks like it would glow. It does have some chips. It's really thin glass. Um, I could probably ship it, but it is, it does have some kind of significant wear to it and some chipping. So I don't think we're gonna grab that one today. Look at all the pirates in the cage. <laughs> That's cute though, how she had a, has it displayed like that. Um, yes, but I just wanted you guys to see how creepy this is. <laughs> um, it wasn't ever posted, so I can't tell you the exact year, but is that, oh, copyrighted 1911, but is that not the strangest thing ever? Yeah, so there's that. It is a beautiful oyster plate. It's $54, but it's 20% off. I think that's a really, really good deal. Not sure if I'm gonna keep it or sell it, but I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Really happy to find this. All in all, we did not do too bad there. I didn't get much glass or pottery, but I did find a few things I'm happy about. Um, we are gonna head down the road a little and go to two little thrift stores that I like to frequent while, since I'm in this town, going to that antique store. So we're gonna go to those real quick. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to film because they always have the music blaring. But if I find anything, I will definitely let you guys know. So let's go there. What are you doing, truck? All right, I'll see you guys there. Thrift store is cute. It's called Two Shirts Thrift Store and it's in this old downtown um, historical house. So we're gonna head in. And hopefully we can find some stuff. For a children's book. I think this would be really cute for um, Halloween. So I'm gonna grab this. And here's like their little jewelry section. I'm trying to be quiet because it's a very small store and it's very quiet. There's an alligator bro. She's kind of cool. What is this one? That's pretty. Hmm. I don't know how much it is. Hmm. I'm gonna get this too. I think it's really mid-century. It kind of has like a carnival look to it and it's very brutalist and I like it so I'm gonna grab this too. So not too bad we were able to get three things as I was leaving I saw a set of three mid-century butterfly wall hangings and they were 50 cents so I grabbed those too. So I got those three things at that little thrift store it's really small so I don't usually expect to find much but I found three things so that's not bad. So now we're going to our last stop of the day and then we gotta go home and get ready for our live sales. So, last place to be able to find some treasures. So, let's see what we can find. Our final destination of the day, Victory Thrift Store in Villarica, Georgia. Let's go. And I did pretty good. I got this guy for this new puppy that I'm fostering. Um, I just think that she'll curl up cutely in that. And then I got this for a chew toy for my bigger puppy. And then I got this little backpack for my daughter. And I'm going to look this little cutie up. And I'm also going to look this Madewell doll up. And then this one is made out of real fur. So I'm going to look him up. And then another chew toy for my big dog. <laughs> Random, but figured I'd show you guys across this it's three dollars it doesn't have its lid um it's got some crazy right there made in the usa i really like the colors so i think i'm gonna pick this up anyways even though it doesn't have its lid pretty much you saw everything i got i just got stuffed animals for my dogs 
Um, I bought a blanket for the puppy and I got that cookie jar with no lid. So not very exciting, but we did our darndest. But thank you guys so much for joining me at the Withering Cottage. Bye guys.